Hey guys, this is Lacey at Laces and Ribbons. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I have another project share. This is a little embellishment box that I did not create this box. My friend Heidi in Amsterdam made this box for me and I um, just repurposed it. I put the garden party paper on it. I kept the little glitter she had and I added my paper. And then she had put these pearls, so I left them there. I made a shaker for the top, and I just attached it. Um, I did take the mittens off, because that's what was on here, and I just I have them in my um, stash. And then I made this itself. It's like this fluffy little um, label, kind of, I guess. So I've got this really pretty lace right here. And then this fabric, this torn fabric here that is so soft and just like the perfect pink. And then I have this really pretty t um, tool that I use to make um, long strips of it. And then I put the paper over the top and I cut out some of the garden party's um, words. And then um, I did some die cutting here with this little cake. And I pierced it and put a little cupcake here with some he she beads and then a sequin, a sequin cluster. And then this flower is um, from Miss Evely. And then I used the beautiful Dollar Tree stickers, the puffy stickers. I am totally picking up more of these if I can find them. And in here, I don't know if you can see it, but in here is a little cake. <laughs> that I cut up and I put it in the sequence shaker part. So the lid just comes off and then inside here I've put a kit so she can make her own um, little banners like I've made here. So I've got the tool and the little trims. Look at this one. Look how cute this trim is. Oh my goodness, I just can't. I love this trim so much. And then the little pink one that I made. I didn't make this one, but I did make this one. And then I made her some shabby ruffles. Oh my goodness, it's so... I just love this lace so much. And then I used some really beautiful uh, fabric with pink notes, pink and white notes in it. And then here I used a sh another shabby fabric that I have. It's like um, stripes. And then this beautiful, um, beautiful blue. It's like a cheesecloth that I put all together in there. So I put all, I made all of those so she can use to make, do her layering. And then here I went ahead and made um, just banners and I stitched them. And I did put one um, layer of the tool, and I made several of those. This thing's um, full of them. And then here, I have like three little things of uh, individual little packets. I have these that I've all, um, stitched all of them. Some of them I've put the little sequin cluster on for her. And then um, a whole bunch of uh, sweet die cuts, like uh, ice cream, milkshake, and a little cake. And then here I've made a whole bunch of little sequin clusters that she can just glue onto her projects. So I put all those in there, and that is my little um, label making kit for her. And then also, I did this. I was watching uh, Scrap the World. She cut out on her cameo uh, suitcase with a window. And I had never seen a suitcase with a window. Not previous to this. So um, I'm sure they're already out there now. but um, And were before. I just didn't know. But she cut all of hers out, and I kind of just watched her put hers together, and I did this from scratch, you guys. So it is a little wonky, <laughs> but um, I like doing from scratch just because it gives that really handmade feel. 
and I um, connected a little topper here like um, Scrap the World did, uh, Tamika. I have these really cute little pink um, jump rings that I attached with a bow from Hobby Lobby. And then this little charm it says love. I can't get it out from underneath the bow. That's annoying me. Okay. And then I used some seam binding to make a little tassel kind of dripping over. And then I did clusters here of flowers that I cut out and this little sprig in gold. I love that little sprig. And then over here, here's another little sprig in gold and then one in pink. And I added a star. This is from the garden party. Um, I just made this cluster here. And then there's a shaker inside. So it just opens here. And I put bows inside for the recipient. And I just Velcroed that. This is just um, some dies I had that I kind of just put together. This is a label that I just made into a handle and I lined them. This is my circle punch here that I just cut. I literally just laid it over the top and I bent where I needed to put them and then I cut the extra off so it has all its little um, corners. And then the strips they're probably not even the same size. I just did skinny strips to make it look like a suitcase. And that is my handmade suitcase and my little embellishment box or kit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you guys um, next time. Bye.